Hi, I'm Jennifer Baker. I am a professor of arts and sciences here at Green Mountain College. And I've been here at Green Mountain. Um, next year will be my 20th year. Hi, I'm Jessica Cuny. I'm the painting and drawing professor here at Green Mountain College. I'm Kevin Bubriski, and I teach photography here at Green Mountain College. Hi, I'm Karen Swiler. I am an associate professor here at Green Mountain College. I teach ceramics courses primarily, and I'm also the program director for the Department of Visual Arts. I got a very technical and intensive background studying at Alfred University and when I was a college student I think that was the first time that I realized I wanted to become a college professor. When I went through this program I drew some conclusions about the kind of teaching that I wanted to do and some of the more important elements of teaching that I thought that I could bring to my students. One of my favorite professors was Val Cushing and he had a really wonderful way of talking about ceramics and critiquing students work in a way that was actually really constructive yet encouraging at the same time. And I think that that's something that I really strive to do in my classroom and perhaps one of the most important things that an educator particularly in the arts can do. When I came to Green Mountain College, this seemed like the right fit for me because it's a small school, because it has a liberal arts approach to education, because it brings in students from all different kinds of backgrounds. And I wanted to have the opportunity to build different kinds of relationships with my students and get to know them and get to encourage them and help them cultivate their own personal strengths. In the ceramic studio, I offer a variety of curriculum that allows a student to develop their own personal voice. Generally, students start out with a hand building experience and then move into wheel throwing. Then students can advance their techniques, learning how to throw on the wheel. We also work with a variety of different clays, which I think is really great for a small studio like this. We work with low fire, mid range, and high fire. We have a variety of kilns, including electric kilns and gas kilns. We also do alternative firing techniques like raku firing and pit firing. At the end of these courses, I hope that the students have a vocabulary of a variety of skills that they can use to actualize their ideas. My work is really based in my former identity as a biologist and as a scientist. So I'm very fascinated with natural form, biological form, and patterns that you see in nature. I'll tell you a little bit about our painting program at Green Mountain College. It is an intense program and a small program where students really get to end up exploring their own sort of sense of personal voice. It starts with a very solid foundation in observational work. It's based on the foundation of just learning the technical skill. So it's not just learning how to render from life, which is really important and takes a long time to learn, but it's also how to do both historic and contemporary techniques, how to mix the paint, how to build a palette, how to use different thinners and mediums. The intermediate and advanced curriculums open up a little bit in terms of being able to bring a little bit more of your own personal voice into your projects. There's more freedom in terms of self-design work where you're still building on those technical skills. There's still an emphasis for some of the projects on observational work, but students have a lot more choice. Starting my life as an educator as a science teacher. I taught anatomy and physiology and um, medical terminology and then human anatomy at both uh, Community College of Rhode Island and at Mount Ida College and so I had a kind of a varied background. I've got a couple different things I administer and enjoy it a lot because with a uh, interdisciplinary background like I have it's a good opportunity to be able to advise people who, who know they're maybe spread all over the place, but their parts may be more connected to each other than they might think that they are. I've written a lot of courses, specifically Introduction to the Arts, um, which teaches the foundations of different types of media explorations to students. Introduction to the Arts course 
allows students to experience the different media that are readily available to them here on campus. I do both of the primary art history sequences, Art History 1 and 2, which is a course I find really enjoyable. The ability to sort of bring life to things that seem like they ought to be dead in uh, art history is something that I really enjoy, being able to help people imagine being in that place during that time. I like to encourage uses of different media to suit the students' own materials, needs, or thoughts in their methods of expression. In the art department, I specialize in photography, and then beyond that, I specialize even further into documentary work. What's wonderful about a small school like Green Mountain College and being on the art faculty is that we get to work very directly and quite closely with our students. So I've watched uh, students over their careers here at Green Mountain grow and develop expertise in the photographic world and dig deeper into the content areas that interest them. There's a wonderful discipline to analog. When students go through the analog course, they have to pay very careful attention to exposure, to the manual settings of the shutter and the aperture on the camera, the frame, what's in the photo, what's not in the photo. There's always a time to turn away from the screen and come back to the actual real analog world of being and communicating. It's essential that every student in there is proficient both in digital and analog and feels complete capability at going out into the real world, whether it be a local farm, the school, a business, and be able to interact and engage with the local community, make photographs that tell a story. So I'm really looking forward to giving the students the ability to feel very comfortable in working with visual media. And then these are skills that are directly applicable to going out into the larger world and having a successful career.